the Philippines is a democratic republican state. Sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. This paragraph is the first entry in the Declaration of the State Principles and Policies of the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Democracy is a complex system of government. The word democracy comes from the Greek words demos means people and kratin or kratos means power. Democracy is a government of, for, and by the people. Of the people because it means that government is constituted or created by the citizens. For the people, which means that the government we create is there to serve the needs of the citizens. And on by the people means our government is run by ordinary citizens like you and me. In its simplest sense, it entails people being given the power to select their rulers. We are a democracy because almost all adults can vote in election and hold public office. This is what is referred to as the minimal or procedural aspect of democracy. The presence of free and fair elections. So citizens are given the right to select their leaders. But democracy also has an optimal or substantive aspect. This is when the will of the people is affected through government and people have a say in charting their destinies. Republicanism, on the other hand, refers to the way our democracy is managed. The word republic comes from the Latin phrase res publica or public things and it refers to indirect rule to representatives. Hence, a republican government is a representative government. The citizens choose other citizens to represent them and to run the different branches of government. Instead of making decisions and implementing these decisions themselves, this makes a republican government an indirect democracy because people exercise their own indirect through representatives given the population and geographical size of most countries today. Republicanism is the most efficient way of running governments. Constitutionalism refers to the adherence to a system based on an impartial and objective rule of law. It refers to our belief in the Constitution as the highest law of the land and that this law reigns supreme. Ours is a government of law and not of men. This means that no one is above the law. No one should take the law onto their own hands and everyone is treated as equal under the law, whether you are rich or poor or whether you are an ordinary citizen or a member of government. The Constitution also establishes government by distributing power to the different branches so that no one can abuse it. Each branch is equal and they are independent of each other. This is known as the separation of powers. This separation and equality creates the mechanism that will allow the branches of government to check and balance each other's action. More importantly, the Constitution places the limits to what government can and cannot do. Liberalism comes from the same root as liberty. Liberalism believes in securing the freedom of individuals from any force that seeks to limit it. This includes government. It also a firm belief in the individual capacity to develop. Therefore, it is important that individuals be given as much space as possible to work for their own development. The Bill of Rights, Article 3 in the Constitution, is a manifestation of our liberal orientation. It specifically guarantees citizens certain inalienable rights such as the right to life, liberty, enjoyment of private property, political and religious beliefs, and free speech. The Bill of Rights is also sets the limits on government to protect citizens against possible abuse. It is important to note that our freedom is not without limits or constraints. 
we also have a presidential form of government. This is as opposed to a parliamentary system. The central feature of a presidential system is the separation of powers among three co-equal branches of government. This is to create the check and balances mechanism to avoid an over-concentration of power. Such a system is headed by a chief executive known as the president who is not a member of a parliament. On the other hand, the parliamentary system is characterized by a fusion of powers of executive and legislative under one body usually called the parliament. Unitary is the system of government that has one national government. We only have one central government with most of the decision-making and policy implementation powers. This is in comparison to a federal form of government that has national government, but also has lower levels of government that have significant powers, such as their own laws and supreme courts. The Philippines' unitary system, however, is a decentralized one. This means that the national government has given some of its powers to the different local government units we have. However, our local governments have only limited powers. When compared to the state government in countries such as United States or India, which are federal governments, thus we can say that the Philippine government is a constitutional, liberal, democratic, and republican system with a presidential and unitary but decentralized structure.